Yo, time is currently 23.29. I'll be going to sleep very soon. Before I do, I'm gonna set in some overnight flips on uh, items I believe can generate a massive margins. The Corombons are kind of crashing, so I'm gonna try and get them for real cheap. I'll be trying to buy them for 385. I have uh, no clue if it, this will work or not. Ignore the corrupt ones that are already in my G. The next item will be Mithril Bars. They have been crashing the past week at least, but it seems like they are stabilizing now. I will still be trying to get them for uh, dirt cheap. Like this price. 10k. The next item will be the Rune Arrows. Uh, this is my favorite item to flip, but... Uh, yeah, the last week they have been absolutely crazy, so I wasn't comfortable flipping those, but yeah, since I like them so much, I put in two buying limits for these. I mean, flipping blood runes is literally so quick, so what I'll do to counter that for this overnight flip is simply just put a much lower price than I usually do. This is about getting as big margin as possible. For the gemstones, the rubies are definitely my favorite. If I can't find another item after this for uh, my re remaining cash stack, I will definitely <laughs> buy more rubies. For a small cash stack, I always like going for the U logs. So the buying limit is 12k, so let's put 12k. And I try to sneak them in for 193. I mean, the blood runes already sold, so now both I mean. Since the blood runes already bought, I'll be trying to sell them for the absolute highest price I can imagine they sell for, and that is uh, 262. They aren't really on the rise right now. For a filler item, the chaos runes are always nice, so I'll be going for chaos runes. I'm gonna buy more than the buying limit. I'm not sure how many I can afford, but let's start with uh, 30k. And just add on until I run out of money. 31,500 maybe. Yeah, let's go for this. Alright, so I'm heading to sleep. Excited to check in tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Time is currently 15. 26 so it's been like 15 hours i just had a shower i know for a fact that a lot of offers came through let's see okay so mostly green some yellow and uh, my blood runes didn't sell also i didn't get the mithril bars i'm not entirely shocked so what i'll do now is just claim every item that i managed to buy put them in for sale and then have a check later today the final profit from uh, overnight flipping so i'll be selling the karam ones for uh, 409 also the <laughs> rune arrows are uh, looking absolutely amazing i bought them for 99 each and i believe i could sell it for medium price one below 115 let's try the rubies will be going in for 818 I'm kind of uh, pushing the maximum <laughs> profit on this item. The U logs unfortunately went down in price, like 5 GP at least, but uh, that really sucks. But I still be trying to push uh, max profit on this. Sell it for uh, 199 each. In with the blood runes. A little below medium price. For the good news, my uh, the chaos runes actually went up in price, so I'll be trying to squeeze 80 GP each out of this. So I'll be checking in later and uh, yeah, make sure during the day that the items actually sell. All right, guys, it's been like two and a half hours. Time is 18:17, and every offer has uh, came true. I had to do adjustments on the Chrome ones and rubies, but still good margins. Let's collect everything and check out the profits. My grand exchange history is uh, 
a little bit messy, but I only been doing the overnight flips. So what I'll do, I put the profits on the screen so it's easier to see how much money I made on each item. The best item was definitely the rune arrows. I made 330k on those. Those were amazing. Second best item was the blood runes. I made 250k on those. Also the rubies were good, made like 221k. Coram ones were decent, 160k. Chaos runes also decent, 114k. The Ulogs, yeah, they were a filler item, so only 60k profit on those. So in total I made 1,135,000. That's uh, pretty decent. I am satisfied with that, granted I only have uh, did use 23 mil cash, so that's a uh, ROI of like 5%. The 5% is also included the tax. I remember back in the day, the flipping guides, they were focusing on getting like 1% ROI. Now I get 5% ROI on overnight flipping, 